Okay, what if a bird flew into a plane's engine? Bye-bye, birdie! If you're really fascinated with aviation, or you have a fear of flying, I'm sure there are all kinds of questions running through your mind. Like, what would happen if a bird flew into a plane's engine? Or if the pilot can do us all a big favor and fly around that terrifying turbulence? Well, before you get the answers to these questions and more, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell icon to join us here on the Bright Side. Now, for the star of the show… Let's count down from number 5. What if a bird flew into a plane's engine? Here's the question that's not pretty to imagine, but I'm sure we've all wondered. It does happen, and it's referred to as a bird strike. No, they don't walk off their union jobs on strike. If a bird unfortunately flies right into an airplane's engine, this feathered creature can actually disable it. Never mind that the bird's day has taken a turn for the worse. But most aircraft have at least two, sometimes up to four, working engines, and pilots can still fly the plane after losing one of the engines if they have to. Typically, a single bird flying into an engine doesn't cause the plane to crash or even make an emergency landing. As for how often these bird strikes actually occur, it's probably more often than you think. According to Tech Insider, there were nearly 161,000 bird strikes on U.S. aircraft between the years of 1990 and 2015. But don't worry, just 40 of these flights actually had accidents afterwards. In fact, bird strikes cost U.S. airlines approximately $1.2 billion in damages every year. But only a part of that money goes into repairing actual damage, while the rest accounts for flight delays and cancellations. So, what would happen if you were sitting on an airplane during a bird strike? Well, statistically speaking, it's more likely to happen during takeoffs or landings and during the daytime. You can expect it to happen more during the months of July through October. And if it does occur, just remain calm. The plane will most likely be fine, and it'll land safely if need be. The chances of birds flying into both engines are pretty slim. Though, that's exactly what happened to US Airways Flight 1549 in 2009, where Captain Sully Sullenberger and his crew safely landed his crippled airliner in the Hudson River in New York, and everyone on the plane survived. Which is more than we can say for the birds involved. In case you were wondering if a bird can survive such a strike, the sad answer is that it can't. So, be careful out there, birdies! Number 4. What if a plane flies too high in the sky? Planes fly pretty high in the sky, he said with a sigh. Most crews at about 35,000 feet. That's roughly 6.6 .6 miles up in the air. It's hard to believe that a plane could fly any higher, but it actually can. However, that doesn't mean that it should. As you go higher and higher in the sky, the air becomes much thinner. This means that a commercial airplane wouldn't be able to stay gliding through the air since it relies on a specific amount of air pressure. According to the Smithsonian National Air and Space Museum, as a plane ascends more and more into the atmosphere, the air becomes less dense, meaning the engine sucks less air in limiting its ability to climb higher, or even maintain altitude. While it's tempting to wonder what it looks like up there that high in the sky, you're better off not finding out. Number 3. What if the pilot falls asleep? A pilot should manage to stay awake for a 3 or 4 hour flight. But what about a 15 hour flight or longer? Do pilots stay awake this whole time? Believe it or not, pilots do sometimes take naps while flying the plane. Shocking, right? Well, don't freak out, because on really long trips, there are always two pilots. So if one has to take a quick nap, there's always someone still flying the plane. However, not all countries feel the same way about this. In the US, it's illegal for pilots to take naps. But in the UK, controlled naps are allowed. Number 2. 
Can pilots fly around turbulence? A bit of rockiness or turbulence on a flight is pretty normal, and if it occurs, it's no cause for alarm. But with plenty of open sky around the plane, why can't the pilot just choose to dodge it? Well, it's not that simple. There are two kinds of turbulence. The first kind is clear air turbulence, or CAT. This kind of turbulence can't really be predicted, so flights can't plan around it. If one pilot who recently flew the same route reports it, another pilot can choose to avoid it. But they can't really veer off course too much, since it would add more distance to the flight. The other kind of turbulence is caused by storm clouds, known as CBs, or cumulonimbus clouds. During a flight that's in a cruising state, a pilot can maneuver around CBs to a point. However, when a plane is landing, the pilot can't veer off course. In fact, in the last 5 miles before a landing, a pilot can't go off course at all. With either type of turbulence, your safety isn't at risk. It may not feel great if you're anxious about flying, but trust that your pilot knows what they're doing and you'll be just fine. Number 1. Why do planes dim the cabin lights when landing or taking off? If you've ever flown on a commercial airline at dusk, nighttime, or early morning, you've probably noticed that during takeoff and landing, the cabin lights go dim. This has nothing to do with the passenger's comfort, it's actually a safety precaution. In case of an accident during a time when the sky isn't at its brightest, dimming the lights lets passengers' eyes adjust to darkness quickly in the event that the plane has to make an emergency evacuation. After all, it takes a person up to 10 minutes to completely adjust to sudden darkness. And if there's an emergency, that time is extremely valuable. If the power suddenly went out and you just had bright lights glaring in your face, you'd have a harder time adjusting to your dark surroundings. The dim lights also make it easier for you to spot important safety signs and directions. So there you have it! Do you know any other cool facts about planes? Let us know down in the comments! Don't forget to give this video a like, share it with your friends, and click subscribe to stay on the bright side of life!